All right. Next community coming to the stage. Very, very funny. She's been crushing it all weekend. Please welcome to the stage Abby Feldman, everybody. Oh, yes. Thank you guys so much. Keep it going for yourselves. Keep it going for Charles. Yes. Yes. So many happy couples here tonight. So sweet. I uh, actually just ended a six-year relationship today, so... Um, yeah, actually, I broke up with my boyfriend a year and a half ago, but I unfriended his mom on Facebook today, <laughs> so it feels official. You can't, um, can't heal when they're coming up on your feet. It, it, it drives me crazy. If I see him in a picture with a woman who's more attractive than I am, then I feel insecure about my appearance, and it, it's bad. If I see him in a picture with a woman who's less attractive than I am, then I know that their love is real. <laughs> almost worse. <laughs> it's worse. Um, it is a lot worse. I, uh, I haven't gotten a lot of action lately. The most action I got recently was on a flight I took. The guy uh, sitting near me when I got up to use the bathroom, I kind of grazed my butt against his knees. <laughs> Pretty exciting because he had the window seat. <laughs> was pretty ballsy. <laughs> no, but I'm trying to put myself out there. You got to put yourself out there. My grandma wants great grandkids. She insists I have to stop waiting around for some man on a white horse to come and sweep me off my feet. You know, she's like, the horse can be any color. The man has to be white. <laughs> <laughs> so she is a racist. <laughs> Where are my white supremacists at? Where are you guys? <laughs> That's we, uh, that's a new trend we have in America. That's a cool thing. You never know with trends what you're going to get. You kind of have to take the good with the bad. Bummer, we've got neo-Nazis. But how exciting is it that leggings are cool? <laughs> I mean, I love a stretchy pant, you know. Full range of motion. Perfect for running from Nazis. <laughs> so there are no coincidences. <laughs> No, but we're calling them white supremacists now. That's the new term. Fine, but if, I don't know if you've seen these folks. Not a whole lot supreme about them. <laughs> really a whole bunch of mediocre uggos <laughs> out there. <laughs> I personally consider myself a white inferiorist. <laughs> if we're going on color, white is objectively the worst color with which to upholster your body. <laughs> Like, you want that stuff to last a long time. You don't want white on the outside of anything that's got to last. You know, it gets stained, it gets ruined. You know, you don't want to get a white couch. It's a terrible investment, you know. You want to get a black couch or a brown couch or an Asian couch. <laughs> it's the same thing with our skin. It wrinkles, it rashes, it burns in the sun, you know. That's why they're wearing the hoods. <laughs> not to look intimidating, it's for sun protection. <laughs> Nothing ruins a Klan rally like finding out Steve's got a melanoma. <laughs> really puts a damper on a cross burning. It is bad, but uh, they've got a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world, a lot of stuff to be upset about, but I try to stay positive, I try to stay optimistic, you know, but that's kind of hard because I'm also trying to smile less Anyone else sick of smiling? I was doing this stuff all my life. Now I've got these deep lines around my lips. Luckily, they're not super noticeable because I have been growing out my pubes. <laughs> so <laughs> it is working out for me. <laughs> I'm trying to bring back the pube. It's had a, it's had a rough couple of years. Thank you for whistling for pubes. Thank you so much, Dad. My dad's here tonight, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. I make him so proud. <laughs> We've had a rough couple of years in the pube industry, you know? A lot of people fell victim to the Groupon laser hair removal trend. <laughs> we lost a few good ones, that's... Uh, that's not a good idea. You want to have an option, you know? You want to be able to move with whatever the fad is. You know, I would never get rid of my pubes because I have a pixie haircut and small breasts, and I have to do something to keep the pedophiles at bay. <laughs> it would be mayhem out there for me. 
you know, I just think do whatever you want to do with your body. You want to get rid of your poops, that's cool. But let's be a little more original, you know. Don't get laser hair removal. That's lame, you know. You know, do something more original like wear a pair of underwear that's made out of whatever material it is that dad's work socks are made out of. I don't know if you guys have ever looked at a man over 50's ankles before. I can guarantee you they're perfectly hairless. I don't know what this fabric is, but this should be our hair removal system. You're spending hundreds, thousands of dollars. You just go to the 99 cent shop, sew some of those things together. Yes, it takes about 35 years, <laughs> but you get a 401k, <laughs> works out. A lot of differences between men and women. We've got the gender inequality gap. That's upsetting. You know, men make more money than we do for the same jobs. Not cool. But I think that's a small symptom of a much bigger problem that needs to be addressed, and that is the murder gap. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? Men are murdering nine times more than we are, ladies. <laughs> we need to close the gap. We got to step it up, ladies. We need to be murdering as much, if not more than men, so that they're scared to not pay us the same amount. <laughs> and that's how you fix the wage gap. Guys, thank you so much. I'm Abby Feldman. Enjoy the rest of the show.